Chatterbugs! Welcome back to the Jackson Hines Library System Summer Reading Photography Class. My name is Shannon and this week we're going to be discussing our backgrounds of our photographs. While your subject is the focus of your photograph, it's important to pay attention to what's behind it. And you want to use the background to add more detail and context to your photographs. So come along, Shutterbugs, and let's get started. Even with great light and well-executed rule of thirds, a bad background can ruin a photograph. Conversely, a clean background can eliminate distractions and make your subject really stand out. Of course, an interesting layered photograph is what many photographers crave, and this takes a lot of practice to achieve. So how do we go about building a background? Unless something amazing is happening that you have to capture right away, take a moment to consider the background before you begin shooting. Think about building your background one piece at a time looking through your screen. Take note of everything in the frame. Is there anything going on that viewers won't be able to ignore? Common problems include unsightly objects that clutter the image and don't add to the story. Or placement issues like a telephone pole that seems to extend out of your subject's head. If you find problem spots in your background, you can try a few things. First, change your position. Can you stand somewhere else so that the problem isn't visible? Or try a change of perspective, kneeling, standing on something tall, or lying on the ground can often change what you see behind your subject. Or try changing the background yourself. Close doors, move toys, hold branches out of the way. And these are things that we can do to build the background that we want for our photos. So we want to use what we have when we're building our background. Consider how you can use natural elements to your advantage. Natural screens like smoke, fog, or dust can diffuse the intensity and the harshness of the sun, and they can create a clean background, allowing your subject to stand out. Keep this in mind the next time you're photographing kids shooting fireworks, someone driving down a dirt road, or a geyser erupting in a national park. Also, existing elements can add more information and context to a portrait. If you're photographing someone in their home, think about your subject's surroundings and what they say about them. You might want to feature an avid reader in front of a bookshelf or a gifted cook in the kitchen. And these are ways we can build our backgrounds. So wrapping up for this week, always remember if it's in your picture, it's either working for you or against you. Get creative as you figure out how to eliminate distracting elements from your photograph. Move your subject if possible. Change your angle, consider your perspective, or move in closer. Try leaving a little space between your subjects for a cleaner composition. If something is in your picture, it should be there because you want it, not because you couldn't solve the visual problem. Well, that's it for this week, Shutterbugs. Your assignment is to take photographs, and intentionally building your background. 
making sure that the elements that are there are adding to your photograph and not a distraction for your viewer. We would love to see your work. You can tag us on Instagram at jhls underscore shutterbugs. So bye shutterbugs. We'll see you next week.